And this is another Martin Rooney, another great speaker who's here, said this at one of his talks, and it was really like it made me immediately write it down. Confusing reading with believing. If you believe everything you read, you are incredibly naive. Because by the time a book gets to publication, it is a minimum of three years out of date. There is a very, very strong chance that the person who wrote it no longer believes what's in it themselves, just because of the lag time in the process. And in an industry like this, you know, it's amazing. You know, even you know, everybody's work is changing so rapidly that you have to constantly stay up on stuff. You can't simply read. I had someone argue with me one day about medicine ball stuff. And they're like, it's right in Vern Gambetta's book. And I'm like, that medicine ball manual is like 15 years old. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't believe that anymore. You might want to call him and ask him if, you know, you shouldn't really be referencing a 15-year-old reference. And I'll give you a really big, great example, confusing reading with bleeding. Right now, there are two things going on in exercise physiology. One, anaerobic threshold. Out the window. Talk to a good physiologist, you know what they'll tell you? Yeah, we thought that was what was happening, but it's not really true. You know the whole lactic acid thing? Theory? Didn't end up working out. I'm like, like basic, like fox and lamb exercise. Next thing you're going to tell me, like the Krebs cycle was not real, like you guys made that up, and I had to learn it, and you made it up. But literally, I mean, that's where we are in exercise physiology. They're like, yeah, lactate, it's not the fatigue byproduct. It's not the problem. And then you say, what's the problem? We're a little unsure about that right now. And I'm like, so there's no like anaerobic threshold. They're like, not really, no. No lactate threshold. Well, we don't think so, no. Well, what is there? You know what they said? Well, there's a ventilatory threshold. So where we are right now in exercise physiology is if you exercise really hard, you breathe heavily. <laughs> huh. Who's kidding me here? That's science. Exercise really hard, you breathe heavy. Then you get to your ventilatory threshold. Well, what's going on when we get there? You know, we had some ideas before they didn't seem to hold water. That's amazing. And it is true. Go ask any good exercise scientist right now about lactate, lactic acid, anaerobic threshold. That's what they'll tell you. That's why I said don't get caught up in reading and saying, I know this. You know, it's like nutrition. You know, if you believe that high carb, low fat works, then you, know, you have literally had your head under a stone for a decade. If you think about nutrition, high carb, low fat did one thing. It made us change the name of juvenile onset diabetes because we gave it to kids. <laughs> All of a sudden, kids had adult onset diabetes. Instead of saying, we're doing something wrong nutritionally, we said, change the name of that disease. Let's call them type 1 and type 2. And, you know, a brilliant response to uh, a not very good problem. So 10 things you should know. 10 things if we said, OK, what would you do differently tomorrow? One, planks. <laughs>